Hey there viewers and welcome back to the South Main Auto Channel. So I got this 04 Chevy. It's got the, uh, is it 04? 04? It's the 3500. It's got the Duramax in it. No, this one we just had in another video a couple weeks ago with the um, EGR problem. We went ahead and fixed that and lady's been driving it and that's been good. But now it's dead at her house. Uh, apparently she drove it. Everything's been good. And she went to start it today. And apparently like the whole dash and everything was dead, but the battery light was on like the radio didn't work But the headlights and stuff did you know not indicating that you know, it was like just a simple battery issue uh, Apparently she had somebody come look at it and you know, they weren't sure suggest she gets it towed and I uh, asked me if I want to take a look at it So before we have it towed to the shop, I said well, you know, it's kind of on my way home So I would just stop and look at it. Unfortunately She left the key on so now the battery is completely spanked and I always bring a charger like every time I go find a mobile call and today I didn't because I knew the batteries were up on it <laughs> and today I got burned and so I don't carry jumper cables or anything with me and she had a charger but her charger's broke so she just ran up the road to her mother's house to get a pair of jumper cables and I got the Toyota sitting right here and so I'll hook up Toyota and hopefully get a little uh, little juice on it and uh, see what we see all right guys we got the Tundra out there I've had that thing sitting on there idling for about a half hour uh, because these batteries are completely spanked now I came in I turned the key on and this is what I have I've got you know nothing however when I came in here just a minute ago you know checking to see if it was charged I turned the key on everything lit up the truck actually started it ran for I don't know three seconds and then stalled and then this is what we have so we've got a Prindle display uh, we've got headlights you can see them flickering out there uh, let's see what do we got. We got dome lights. Just trying to get a feel for what we have. All right, key is key is on right now. Okay, we got no window, but previously we did because obviously I rolled the window down. Um, got no wipers. We got a horn. We got four ways. Okay, we do have a blower. Um, Got brake control, it's probably separate. So that's interesting. We have no radio. We do have a blower. We got radio, no radio, no wipers, no windows. So whatever is going on with this. Checking to see if we got perhaps ignition switch or something here. That's what it's acting like. So it's a pick'em. We find out why the windows don't have power. Do we find out why the radio doesn't have power? Uh, wipers. It's basically going to be uh, uh, look at some wiring diagrams, perhaps see what they all have in common. Now I did plug the scan tool in. We can uh, take and pop in. This is all booted up now. We'll pop in see if we have any codes. Let me just shut these dome lights off. I still got my truck on there running. There we go. See, make sure we can talk. So it looks like the ECM is talking. Nothing there. Let's just go data, see if we can see any voltage inputs. Maybe engine one, perhaps. All right, let's see. APP one voltage, so ignition, yeah, there we go. Ignition one voltage zero. There's a clue, lady. Run time. EPP voltage. So we do have 5 volts. So there must be another uh, battery voltage zero. There's a good clue. This must be the ECM has more than one power source. Malfunction indicator light on. That's interesting. back out and engine data too. I think we've got enough stuff to uh, start looking now anyways. I think we really have to go very far here. It's all injector data. Fuel data EGR. Yep, I think we're we're good. Just kind of curious. See if we can talk to the cluster. Yeah we can talk to the cluster. Definitely gonna have to pull up a uh, wiring diagram here. 
Uh, current ignition cycle is 4. 7.5 volts. Let's shut the key off. Keys off. Keys on. It's interesting. 7.5 volts there. Alright, let's see where we get our. Let's see if we got anything in these input outputs. See what. Uh, see if we find our ignition source, wherever that may be. Let's see which module they stored in. Probably body module, I'm thinking. What do we got? Let's have a look there. See if we can talk to it. We can. Key and ignition, yes. See if we can find any ignition input PIDs. Ignition zero on. Ignition one off. Alright. Let's see. I'll tell you what, let's uh let's grab our ignition data here. Oops. Been a while since I used the old virus. All right. All right. Let's see. That is where we have ignition zero off. All right. So that ignition zero perhaps is what feeds our ECM, but we see this ignition one circuit that just continues to stay off no matter where I cycle it. I just saw, look at that, I just saw a little flicker here on the dash. The dash lights are on. Why is that? Okay, that's interesting. So the dash lights are on. Like the retained accessory power is on. Yep, so they just went out. And then what was the radio just on there for a second? Radio is on. Yeah. Apparently the display works. Still no crank. We gained we gained windows. <laughs> we gained a little something, lady. Ignition one, it still shows off. Alright. So I got no wipers though. No turning signals. But we have four ways. All right, I think we have enough clues to start tracking down this problem here to see if it's an ignition feed problem. Just keep everybody on track. I went to get out and I noticed that the uh, radio went out. Everything went back out, so we're back to where, essentially where we started. No more windows, even though the key is in the on position. I just want to fiddle, see that? I'm fiddling with this uh, key here. Yeah, we're just gonna find a bad ignition switch. A bad. Let's see, so the radio's on right now. Shut off retained accessory power. Key back on, now we're back to where we started. But it seems if we turn this key back real slow. Yep, there it goes. Right there, but our dash is still dead. Ignition one still shows off. I wonder if the voltage level on it changes or something. All right. Let's go for it. All right, finally, got it loaded up. Uh, the internet out here is super, super slow. And I'm just running off my phone. I've only got 3G. We're way out in the country. Um, so here's our ignition, uh, our ignition switch. So it's supposed to have power coming in on this red and white, uh, which we could backtrace. And then, um, so in the run position, we're going to have this portion of it and run and start. This ignition e fuse. Looks like backup lights. SEO ignition, but uh, over here inside the truck we got this SEO uh, accessory fuse, windshield wiper fuse, rear wiper, TBC accessory. So I found the uh, fuse box right here. I've got our handy scope on a rope. We're going to go right for uh, this, this uh, SEO accessory. Uh, SEO accessory 10 amp and then WS wiper, TBC accessory, they all they all run off this portion of the ignition switch. That's probably the quickest thing to do. And those, let's see here, make sure that I'm going the right way here. They're like that. So it's going to be that top row, the 10, 25, and 10. Let's see, 10, 25, 
and 10. All right, so let's see, first of all, let me see if we got power on anything here. Ooh, look at that, we got power on that one. So let's check these. That one's dead. That one's dead. And that one's dead. Verify our equipment here, find something that's hot. Looks hot, that one. So our equipment's good. So there, we just shortcut this entire process. Oh boy, they got some extra stuff there. Um, and we know our ignition switch works, or at least portion of it. So let's just, just for the heck of it, let's just verify this pink wire. What fuse box is that? Under hood fuse box. Ignition one fuse. Let's just check that, just for grins and giggles. Ignition one. That one I suspect is going to be good, possibly. Maybe not, maybe. <clears throat> Mission E. Where are you, little guy? That must be freaking blind. Did say underhood fuse box, right? PCM1. read it is ignition E not ignition 1. That one's also dead. Let's verify our equipment here. There we go. Let's try this again. Yeah that one is dead. What else was it? Backup lamp. So that one's right here it says 20 amp. That one is dead. That's a maxi fuse right there. That one's good. Alright at this point let's see because the ignition, yeah, ignition E is down, backup lamp is down. Let's just verify our power into the ignition switch, see where that comes from, and then uh, we'll take it from there. So we've got to wait for this to load up. It's a little bit slow out here. So on this diagram, uh, it said ignition B fuse, diagram one of five. So let's just go back up. We're just looking at power distribution right now. Um, where did that branch off? Was that an A or a B? Must have been A. We'll just double check that. Okay, so triangle A, come back up to ignition switch, ignition B, fuse 40 amp. Gosh, you guys can't see. That use this one handed stuff. And that is fed. Where's that fed from? Right straight from the battery, from the battery to stud number two, from stud two to ignition B, 40 amp. So we'll come back out here. stuff out here. Pull it back off, it's fine. Ignition B, ignition B, 40 amps, so that's this little guy right here. I got my, let me set you down. Ignition B, these things are pain in the, pain in the butt to get out. Let's see. Of course when I go mobile I don't bring any tools. I think I did bring a pair of pliers as a matter of fact. Vampires, vampire, vampires. Over there. Don't break. Don't break, little guy. <sighs> Gotta know. Did not break. So, let's just make sure that we have power being fed across one of these. This is my super light on steroids. I put a bulb in here that puts out 780 milliamps, so. Get a ground. I'm going to on this big thing that says ground. I hope this clamp on this thing sucks. Alright, so there's that. I'm just going to jump across the two of them with my screwdriver. Just to be certain. I didn't hear anything chime up inside the car. Fuse is good. It's not open, is it? Does not appear to be. Go for the ignition switch. That's what it's looking like. Could have guessed, man. Alright, so we'll put this cover back on. I suppose. I don't want to backfeed it. Um I'm thinking, yeah, we could, but 
let's not let's not cause issues we'll uh shut this off there okay I'll set my laptop down here sometimes it's hard when you gotta go to somebody's house but I should be pushing this thing around our parking lot is there no screws that hold that in oh damn you know what I did not bring a freaking light oh you stupid I suck at this mobile stuff all right well we gotta get these column covers off I don't see any screws, it's gotta be. Let me grab, I think I got a flashlight in the tundra. Alright, we're good. It's a little cheese dog one, but it works. Alright, no screws, okay, so I've seen this before, right? Let's just pop the, uh, these just pop right out on these. I thought they did. There we go, so this is gonna be the tilt lever. And I'm thinking, sit up in here. See no screws in there, right? It's like Legos. Stop digging. Alright, I'll have four ways here. Let's see, don't these column covers on these ones just pop? I want to know screws. Let's see, because I got no screws in the front, right? I don't want to have to look it up. I'm gonna have to. I don't want to damage anything. Let me look. Okay. The column cover is now off, so yeah, they just pop off the front. I'll show you guys, I suppose, when we put it back on. Uh, it just pops off the front and then has the uh, little hooks where it hinges there in the back the top half we left on here's our wires for our ignition switch um keys in keys on uh i believe let's see so we've got power well you guys can't see my test light but uh you can see the glow so we've got power on the orange wire got on the red i believe that's yellow i think it was the pink wire we were after yes there's a yellow there's another yellow nothing there so we've got power 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 is there a pink wire it's up behind everything there's a red wire back there nothing on that okay and then there's our pink wire right there and nothing on that so can we just kind of come across this one is the pink wire I think it was pink wire right let's see get our tip up in here let's see if we can very gingerly do that oh there we go dash just slid up oops Bam! Let me show you guys. Can you see the dash? You cannot see the dash, can you? Yeah, no, you can. Whoa! Alright, so I'm just gonna jump her. Come in here with my test light. We're gonna just go right from the. It's really don't matter. We'll go red to pink. If I can get in here, just for proof of concept. Of course, I can't get in on that pink wire now. Oh, come on, you little sucker. I'll show ya. Ah. There it is. I can't really hold it there very well. But the dash does light up. I don't think. Come on. Yep, it worked until I lost part of my test light. Beautiful. So I rigged up my test light with a 12 volt power source, just grabbed power right off the battery. I'll see if we can just probe into, now it's kind of a light, light wire. Um, so as long as we don't have too many accessories here, it should uh, handle it. Okay, let me get in, oh, get in on this pink wire. Not touch the ground. <laughs> Turn the ignition on. Can't see a dang thing. Where is it? Looks like we got pink with All right, pink with white man. Alright, there we go. Make sure my little jump wire don't get too hot on me. Boom! 
It's up and running. Got radio. Got wipers. Not what else we didn't have. Power windows. Yeah. The one we remove power from. There she sits. Just like that. Needs ignition switch.